Okay. What's up? Um, I'm finishing uh, the videos up today since I like make videos every day, and uh, apparently some people think I sit in this bloody house all the time, and I don't. I'm gonna go out uh, with the camera today and shoot an event downtown indoors because the weather sucks. Um, but I wanted to let you know that uh, I've got a lot of light mod videos uh, coming up, including some uh, really neat stuff that you've never seen before. I've got a few of these. They're called uh, Tiltamites uh, by, uh, by uh, Honeywell. And uh, I've actually taken this one apart. I'm making a second one here and make a video about it. And uh, as you can see here, what do you think I could actually make with this? Oh, yeah. And this tilts. Tire. Well, there we go, like that. So you know, it completely tilts. Look, there's a nice hollow space in there that I could actually like drop fiber optics out of and point at the dish and use it like as a macro reflector or a close-in portraiture. Uh, ring lights, although it's technically like a, not a ring light, it'd be like a beauty dish, but uh, stuff like that. Nobody wants these things. These are like two dollars on eBay. <laughs> you know. Light is light is light. It don't matter if it's from the 1930s and 20s and 40s. Uh, light is light is light is light is light. It doesn't matter if it's film or digital. Light is light is light. So stuff like this is abundantly useful. Nobody looks at this old crap, especially in digital photography. And they should. Not just stuff like this, but, you know, not this thing particularly, but, I mean, stuff like this. I mean, look, it folds down. It's completely collapsible. I can drop fiber optics, modern technology, and combine it with an old jobby like this and make some really neat crap. Um, so there's a lot of light mods uh, coming up, and I'm also going to make uh, a series on 35mm Ultimatum, like the best 35mm, Fuji, Nikon, because that's really the god lens. You can actually basically ask any professional photographers, like, well, if you can only have one lens, what the hell would it be? It'll be some 35mm of some sort. Um, also, uh, going to be making uh, some videos that everybody's requested on uh, lenses that have the best micro contrast because there are a lot of film shooters out there and a lot of shooters that uh, uh, do uh, black and white uh, stuff. They uh, drop it in uh, as black and white in Photoshop or Lightroom later, and if you don't have the micro contrast there to begin with, the intertonal transmission from the good lens, uh, then that's an issue. You know, then the black and white pictures, even if you've done your best job and best illumination, ain't good. And that is where a lens with awesome micro contrast uh, comes into place. I'm making videos about that. And uh, also let me know, you know, I've got tons, I've got a list of just like a bazillion videos to make. And uh, recently some other YouTube photographers have been making fun of me for making so many videos. And I don't know why that's an issue. I mean, you know, what do you want me to do? Like, uh... Not be helpful, or you know, you're actually compa complaining about me making too many videos. Okay, you know, gee, I'll just, uh, you know, give it up with that nonsense. Uh, I, I, not meaning you. I mean these other people that are complaining. Like he, he makes, he makes too many videos per day. Yeah, I got low budget videos, but uh, at least they're logical and informative. Little tidbits. Sometimes I ramble on, but I guess none of us are perfect, right? Deal with it. Um, so 35mm ultimatums, uh, ultimatum uh, on lenses, and uh, lenses uh, on another video on the micro contrast uh, here uh, very soon. And uh, talk about stuff like, uh, you know, happy accidents versus making photos. And, uh, you know, what really defines your ability. Instead of being a slave to the light, that you're actually the master of the, you know, I shouldn't say slave versus, I mean, actually these terms are still bandied about in photography. <laughs> In photography, but you shouldn't say them because they're not political. It only applies to photography. You talk about being a slave to the light instead of be, you know, mastering the light. You know, sometimes people are just way too politically correct. They're talking about light here, nothing else. Um, and, you know, how you can actually turn things around to where you're not like, oh, the light's no good, you know. I don't want to go out and take pictures. It's like, well, you need to think outside of the box, think creatively. You know, whip out the macro lens. Go take a picture of, you know snow on X object out in your yard or something like that. I mean, but so very important, because I just can't stress it enough that the people are so focused on lenses, and maybe I'm guilty of making way too many damn lens videos, but people keep talking about the next lens, and they need to be talking about, you know, their first or their next lighting tool, or their light mod. Um, I, ha I feel like I haven't even made that many light mod videos, and I've already got like four times as many light mod videos on YouTube than anybody else does, way over four times as much. It's like, I just started making light mod videos. 
So that doesn't make any sense. Um, you know, talk about cameras and lenses all day long. You know, hey, that's important. That's great. You know, save people money. You know, the lighting. The lighting. The lighting is important. The lighting is incredibly important. I mean, the best camera and the best lens at the highest dollar, they ain't going to do crap if you don't have good lighting. And Mother Nature is a... Mother Nature's a bitch. She doesn't like to cooperate on lighting all that much. And that means you're a slave to Mother Nature, you know, crappy fluorescent lighting indoor. You're a slave to some sort of bad lighting or insufficient lighting. You know, screw it. Whip out the speed light, the studio strobe, and uh, make light your bitch. <laughs> that sounds sexist. Make light your bitch. Make another, I should have said make Mother Nature your bitch. Um, you know, sometimes the funny stuff actually sticks in people's brains. So I say crazy crap like that so it sticks in their brains. So <laughs> Make Mother Nature your bitch, right? <laughs> Whatever. Um, you have a crazy sense of humor, right? It's better than being uh, an agent of disinformation with an agenda. Don't you think? I, I think that's the case. Catch you later. Bye. I'm going to go out and shoot now. I've got my camera and i got all my gear. Now all i got to do is change my clothes and get my fat ass out the door. <laughs>